In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on February 9, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Charlotte Hornets vs. Milwaukee Bucks The upcoming basketball clash between the Charlotte Hornets and the Milwaukee Bucks is set to take place on Friday, with the Bucks serving as the hosts. Following a recent defeat to the Minnesota Timberwolves, the Bucks are aiming to rebound, while the Hornets are also coming off a loss against the Toronto Raptors. In recent matches, the Charlotte Hornets have experienced a significant downturn in form, suffering defeat in 16 of their last 18 games. Their struggle is exemplified by a discouraging nine-game losing streak, which they hope to break when facing the Bucks. The Hornets faced a setback in their previous game against the Raptors, ending with a 123-117 loss. Despite a strong start with a 36-point first quarter and a 15-point lead, they faltered, scoring only 20 points in the final quarter, allowing the Raptors to stage a late comeback. Miles Bridges led the team with an impressive performance of 45 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. On the other hand, the Milwaukee Bucks are also grappling with a challenging period, having won only 5 of their last 6 games. Their recent 3-game losing streak was compounded by a substantial 129-105 loss to the Timberwolves. AJ Green emerged as the leading scorer with 27 points off the bench, but the Bucks struggled to keep pace throughout the game, falling behind by 10 points at halftime and suffering a significant 30 to 22 deficit in the third quarter. As for the injury report, the Hornets currently have no significant concerns, except for newly acquired players Grant Williams, Seth Curry, and Kyle Lowry, who are yet to make their debut. Conversely, the Bucks are dealing with absences, with Damian Lillard and K.A. Tris Middleton ruled out. Despite the absence of key players, the Bucks are still considered favorites against the struggling Hornets. However, concerns arise due to the Bucks' recent defensive struggles, losing five of their last six games, and the uncertainty surrounding Lillard and Middleton's availability. While the prediction leans towards the Bucks securing a victory at home, the prevailing circumstances make the point spread more challenging. The Bucks, dealing with injuries and playing the second game of a back-to-back -back set, might face difficulties in covering the spread. Thus, considering the situation, the Charlotte Hornets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. This upcoming game presents an intriguing clash of styles, with the fast-paced Milwaukee Bucks against the Charlotte Hornets, who prefer a more deliberate tempo. Despite the differing approaches, the Hornets' recent defensive struggles may force them to adapt and accelerate the pace to keep up with the Bucks. Additionally, Milwaukee's vulnerability in defending the paint could provide the Hornets with opportunities to score inside. Considering these factors, the expectation is that the total points scored in the game will surpass the projected total, making over the projected total our full game total pick. Denver Nuggets vs. Sacramento Kings In the upcoming clash between the Denver Nuggets and the Sacramento Kings, it marks their second meeting of the season. The initial encounter transpired at the Golden 1 Center last December, concluding with the Kings securing a 123-117 victory. Notably, the forthcoming Friday game is set to unfold once again within the confines of Sacramento's home arena. The lingering question looms, will the Nuggets avenge their prior loss in Sacramento, or do the Kings pose a formidable challenge for the the reigning champions. Aiming to capitalize on their commendable recent performance, the Denver Nuggets find themselves in an excellent groove, having triumphed in eight of their last ten games. The team is on the quest for a fourth consecutive victory following a compelling 114-106 road win against the Lakers the previous night. Spearheading the charge, Jamal Murray delivered an impressive performance with 29 points and 11 assists, complemented by Michael Porter Jr.'s 27 points on 11 of 20 shooting, and Nikola Jokic can contributing 24 points, 13 rebounds, and 9 assists. The Nuggets collectively shot at a 48% accuracy from the field, including a noteworthy 14 of 32 from beyond the arc. 
Their relentless back and forth with the Lakers culminated in a tenacious 10-2 run during the final 156, securing a hard-fought road victory. Conversely, the Sacramento Kings have maintained a relatively decent form, emerging victorious in six of their last nine games. Despite this, they find themselves teetering on the brink of a potential third consecutive defeat, having succumbed to a 133-120 loss against the Pistons on Wednesday. Dominating the scoring sheet, DeMantis Sabanis recorded 30 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists, with Malik Monk adding 23 points and 10 assists off the bench, and Kevin Huerter contributing 16 points. The Kings exhibited a 47% shooting accuracy from the field, including 15 of 44 from beyond the three-point line. While their third-quarter surge initially secured a nine-point lead, they suffered a disheartening blowout in the fourth quarter, marking one of the more disappointing losses of the season. The Denver Nuggets faced some challenges on the injury front, with Contavious Caldwell Pope ruled out due to a hamstring injury. Meanwhile, the Sacramento Kings continue to miss the presence of Chris Duart. The Nuggets, engaged in a fierce battle for the top seed, are unlikely to ease off the gas pedal. Sacramento's defensive struggles, ranked 28th in effective field goal percentage, could play into the hands of Denver, boasting the 10th best offense in the league. The Kings' deficiency in forcing turnovers compounds their struggles in preventing missed shots, creating favorable conditions for Denver to capitalize on shooting opportunities and dominate in the post. Post. Expect the Nuggets' defense to impose constraints on Sacramento's offensive prowess. Heading into this matchup, the Nuggets are confronting the challenge of playing on zero days rest following their triumph over the Lakers the previous night. Conversely, the Kings find themselves on a two-game losing streak, compounded by a lopsided defeat against the Pistons. Despite the inherent difficulty of securing victories in back-to-back -back scenarios, the Nuggets, buoyed by their stellar performance the night before, hold a favorable position over the inconsistent Kings throughout the season. Even in the face of playing on consecutive nights, Denver emerges as a compelling choice, particularly when juxtaposed against a Kings team that recently suffered a double-digit loss to the Pistons, concluding a road trip with a staggering 26-point deficit. Thus, so the Denver Nuggets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Considering the formidable defensive capabilities of the Nuggets, coupled with the challenges of a back-to-back -back scenario, the under presents itself as an appealing option for this Friday night game. Denver boasts an impressive 32-19 record in hitting the under this season, standing as the best in the NBA. This trend extends to their road games, where they hold a solid 17-9 record. In contrast, the Kings, with a record of 23-25-2, now face the daunting task of confronting one of the league's top defenses. Moreover, the difference in pace further supports the under as the Kings play at a pace of 101.3, while the Nuggets, with a pace of 98.9, are likely to slow down even further on the back-to-back. -back. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. New Orleans Pelicans vs. Los Angeles Lakers In the upcoming NBA showdown, the New Orleans Pelicans are set to face off against the Los Angeles Lakers in a highly anticipated matchup in the Western Conference. Presently, the Pelicans hold a record of 30-21, securing the sixth position in the Western Conference, while the Lakers, positioned ninth in the West, enter the game with a record of 28-25. The Lakers will be playing on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, having hosted the Nuggets the night before. Having regained momentum, the New Orleans Pelicans are aiming for their fifth consecutive victory after a dominating 117-106 road win against the Clippers on Wednesday. C.J. McCollum spearheaded the team with an impressive performance of 25 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists. Zion Williamson contributed 21 points and 10 assists, while Brandon Ingram added 15 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. The Pelicans showcased their offensive prowess by shooting 53% from the field and making 12 of 32 shots from beyond the arc. Despite a fourth-quarter surge from the Clippers, the Pelicans maintained their lead, securing the win. On the flip side, the Los Angeles Lakers have had a decent run, winning five of their last eight games. However, their three-game win streak was halted by the Nuggets in a 114-106 loss the previous night. Anthony Davis led the Lakers with an impressive stat line of 32 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, and 4 blocks. LeBron James contributed 25 points, 9 rebounds, and 7 assists, while Austin Reeves chipped in with 15 points and 10 assists. The Lakers, shooting 46% from the field and 8 of 25 from beyond the arc, 
displayed a competitive performance throughout the game but fell short in the final minutes. As the game approaches, the Pelicans might face challenges with key players such as Zion Williamson, Najee Marshall, and Jonas Valanciunas listed as questionable. On the other hand, the Lakers continue to be without Gabe Vincent and Angelo Russell, with the Lakers playing on consecutive nights, a situation where they have struggled this season with a 2-6 record on zero days of rest, there is a potential advantage for the Pelicans. Riding the wave of their four-game winning streak, the Pelicans seem poised to capitalize on the Lakers' current form. Looking at the season metrics, the Pelicans boast impressive rankings in both offensive and defensive efficiency, whereas the Lakers lag behind at 20th and 15th in these respective categories. This stark contrast in performance metrics further supports the notion that the Pelicans hold an edge over the Lakers. The Pelicans' recent defensive prowess, coupled with their confident run of victories, makes them a formidable opponent. Despite the Lakers being favored at home, their age and the challenge of playing on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, coupled with the potential absence of key players like D'Angelo Russell, create uncertainties. The Lakers also face the emotional weight of a recent loss on the day Kobe statue was revealed. In contrast, the Pelicans enter the game with talent, current momentum, and a previous convincing 20-point victory over the Lakers on New Year's Eve. Taking all factors into consideration, the Pelicans appear to have the upper hand in this matchup. In terms of playing style, the Lakers focus less on three-point shooting but prefer an up-tempo game. On the other hand, the Pelicans rank 25th in three-point rate and 17th in pace. These style differences set the stage for an intriguing clash of playing philosophies. Considering recent trends, the total has gone under in four of the Pelicans' last five games, aligning with their strong defensive performances. This trend is likely to continue against the Lakers, making under the projected total our full-game total pick. As six of the last ten encounters counters between the Pelicans and Lakers have gone under, the betting trend supports a low-scoring game. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.